Hi, this is Brian Stark, and I'm going to show you how to set up your client, farm, and field names. Where you start might depend on the type of data you own. If you have precision farming as applied data, such as yield or planting, it'll be easier to set up things by starting here first. In most cases, the farmer has already entered the client, farm, field names from the NCAB display. So by simply importing that data, it will populate the names for us. In this example, we have Ag Leader yield data in which the operator added field names prior to starting each job. So the first step is to click on the Read Job Data button. Here you have a couple of options to review. To make the process faster, select both Skip Confirming Farm Field Information and Skip Confirming Supplies, Equipment, People. This will make the importing step go faster, plus it's easy to edit these names later. Our USB contains the original files from the display and it's selected by default. We'll click OK and a linker box will appear. The reason for the linker box is to match different names from the display to your software. As you continue to use the software, the linker box will become smarter and default select items for you. Since we're just getting started, it tries to match similar words such as harvest with harvesting. The next linker screen is for commodities. Since the wheat crop has not been added to the software, the linker screen will suggest adding it at this time. The same is true for field names. Now it is time to finish off the wheat information. Now, everything is going to be filled in for us except for color, so if we wish to have a color assigned to this crop, we can now select it at this time. Since we have the accounting activated, it's asking us to add the account for wheat. We'll choose wheat from our list. Now the program will have our client farm field names added to our management tree. If you wish to correct a field name, simply right click on it and choose properties. Here we can change, remove, or add more information. Please note if you change the field name, Make sure to write this data back out to the field display so that the operator is using the same field names. The other way is to use the toolbar up above to add your names. We'll start by choosing New Client. Here you can add the name or business name. In my example, I'm going to add Jeff Mag as my client. An address can be filled in, which is very handy for doing invoicing later on in the software. In this example, I'll skip that step and choose OK. Once you have the client name, it is now time to add the farm name by right-clicking and choosing New Farm. There is no right or wrong way of setting up your farm names, but they do play an important role when viewing and printing reports. You can always tweak your farm names and move fields around if for some reason you're not satisfied with your layout. Now that we have a farm name, it is time to add a field name by right-clicking and choosing New Field. Enter the field name. Legal and tillable acres can be filled in. The tillable acres is most important because this is what the software will use for field record keeping. The map acres will be filled in automatically when there's a field boundary. Select if you own, cash rent, or share crop. In this example, we'll select share crop and choose the landlord tab to add a new landlord or pick one from the drop down list. In our example, Jeff Mag is our landlord and everything is 50-50, so instead of typing 50 for each one of the categories, I'll type it in once and choose the Fill column. The Info tab allows us to fill in additional information, which is handy for crop insurance reporting or FSA records. If you don't have this information, it can be filled in later. When finished, click OK, and the field information is now saved. If you wish to make edits, right-click on the field and choose Properties. Again, there's no wrong or right way of setting up your client and farm names, but it is important to keep it simple. Too many names could simply create confusion for the operator in the cab or for the person in the office who's working with the data. Hope you enjoyed how to add client farm fields to your software, and please subscribe to our channel to receive new training videos.